Hi viewers, welcome back to Adiox. In this video session, we are going to deal with TDR, Transfer of Development Rights. The name says it all. Yes, you have two types of right for the land you own. One is developing on the site. The other one is transferring the development rights to the other site. That is, building your FSA area, which is obtained from TDR, should be built in some other sites. Let us see in details now. What is TDR program? How does a TDR program work? What are the advantages of this program? And what are the challenges in it? These are the points to be covered in the following session. Land acquisition. When we were talking about land acquisition, it was a legal procedure which are cumbersome and costly resulting in delay. Getting land from people in the form of various land development schemes are land sharing, land pooling, incentive zoning and this transfer of development rights as TDR. Land pooling. It consists in acquisition of plot of land divided into a large number of small parcels belonging to an equally large number of landowners. And it plan and provide all necessary infrastructures such as roads, water supply, drainage, electricity and telephone back to the owners. It is used in the city scale, predominantly involves the large tracts of land. TDR. It means transfer of development rights which are obtained in the form of certificates which the owner can subsequently use for himself or can trade it in the market for cash. The basic motive behind this transfer to facilitate the development of the underdeveloped areas. TDR allows ownership of the development rights to be separated without selling the land. The person to whom the rights are transferred uses them to develop another pieces of a property. TDR program allows the landowners to separate the right of ownership of the land from the right of its development. A farmer can continue to farm in his land while giving up his development rights to a property developer as a TDR for a consideration. Local governments can use TDR to direct development in specific zones. They can use this tool to preserve the farming areas, forested area, heritage areas, etc. by allowing its owners to give up their rights to develop these spaces commercially in other areas as TDR. TDR certificates and its purposes an important raw material which the builders use to develop its area beyond the permissible flow space index FSI. TDR are obtained in the form of certificates which the owners can subsequently use for himself or can trade it in the form of TDR certificates in a cash. The main purpose of this concept is that developers purchase the TDR certificates available in the market and utilizes them for increasing their permissible development rights. Zones of TDR Based on the intensity of development, the city is divided into intensely developed as A zone, moderately developed as a B zone and sparsely developed as C zones. The transfer of development rights shall be from intensely developed zones to the other zones and not in the vice versa. And this is one rough calculation showing how the TDR has been calculated. In a plot area of 500 square meters at road A, where the floor area ratio that is the FSA is 1.5. So the calculation will be like this. So the plot area is 500 square meters, whereas the permissible floor area is 1.5 times of the plot area. So the buildable floor area is 500 multiplied by the 1.5 square meters, which is 750 square meters. So in case within that plot area, 100 square meters of area is surrounded for TDR, then you will get an additional floor area in the form of development rights. That is the surrounded 100 square meter area has been given a 1.5 FSI. So you will get additional benefit of 150 square meters. So the plot area after surrendered, you will have 500 directed by the 100 meter square, which you will get 400 meter squares. Now the buildable floor area in a plot area of 400 square meter is, as per the FSI, it is 750 square meters. If the additional floor area is utilized in the same floor plot area, then it will be 750 plus 150 which is 900 square meters and types of TDR predominantly there are four types of TDR that are generated road TDR, reserve plots TDR, slum TDR and heritage TDR. In most of the cities majority of the construction activities takes place with the head of the slum TDR. Based on the stages of development a city is classified into various zones like fully developed, moderately developed and sparsely developed. The transferable development rights are usually transferred from fully developed zones to the other zones. Slum TDR 
It is generated when a land owner or developer surrenders his land for building tenements for slum dwellers or a project affected persons called as a PAP free of cost. It basically allows such owners or developers to transfer the development rights in the form of additional construction rights on another plot as slum TDR. Heritage TDR helps to restoration of heritage building. The unbuilt FSA is transferred to other buildings as shown in the screen. And reserve plot TDR. The award of DRC to landowners for the surrender of land reserved for the public purposes proposed under the development plans. Road TDR. Road widening is required to keep up the phenomenal increase in vehicular population. The purpose of road TDR is to get the land accessibility for road widening. TDR markets. Just as the stock market, cities like Mumbai do have a huge TDR market in place. As these TDR certificates can be traded in the market for cash, most of the developers purchase the same and utilizes them increases their permissible development rights. Thank you.